Welcome back. I'm Chris Collinsworth with Jill Wagner, Alonzo Bowden, and Angus McKenzie, editor-in-chief of Motor Trend Magazine. And we're talking about people and their passions. And I know for the three of you, it's your cars to some extent, right? Yes. Absolutely. And you know, th this may be a guy thing, but we may not remember the name of that girl we dated just that once in high school, but we can probably remember what car we were driving at the time. And cars are a cultural icon, and that's why I think a lot of people collect them as a hobby. But for some people, it's more than just a hobby. It's a real passion. Jerry Seinfeld probably has the finest collection of Porsches outside of Stuttgart, while Jay Leno seems to have one of almost everything in his collection. And he drives them. He drives right. like a different one to work every day, right? He, just, he is the ultimate car guy enthusiast, and he has the wherewithal to indulge his passion. But there's a difference between an old car and a classic car. And I went up to the GM Heritage Center in Detroit to find out. Well, they sure don't make them like they used to. We're here at the GM Heritage Center in Detroit, where the company shows some of the 400 cars and trucks it has kept out of the millions it has built over the past century. All are historically significant vehicles, but does that make them all classics? This 1959 Cadillac was one of the world's most technically advanced cars when it was launched. But as time has passed, its over-the-top styling with tail fins and chrome have made it a touchstone for what many regard as a golden era in America's history. This 1965 Buick Riviera deserves its place in any car collection because it is a design masterpiece. Crafted under the direction of legendary GM styling chief Bill Mitchell, it remains one of the most elegant cars Detroit has ever produced. This 1967 Chevy Camaro is another cultural touchstone, a car that reflects the profound social change in America as the baby boomers took over from the greatest generation. Hip, fun, cool. The really collectible ones are the high-performance SS versions like this. Can we predict which of today's cars might become future classics? Well, I'm going to stick my neck out here and suggest a few. The Chevy Volt. This intelligent hybrid is the most technically advanced car ever made in America, and that alone should make it a future classic. But the really collectible ones will be the 2011 Volts that have had a celebrity owner. This particular Volt was driven off the assembly line by President Barack Obama. Its place in history is assured. The 638 horsepower Corvette ZR1 is the fastest, most powerful Corvette ever built. The Corvette is America's only true sports car, with a heritage dating back almost 60 years, rivaling that of Ferrari and Porsche. As a future classic, the ZR1 is a no-brainer. All right, I'll take the Corvette. Which one do you guys want? My first car was a 67 <laughs> Camaro. It wasn't a convertible, it was a coupe, but that was my first car. I'd love to get that car back. Was it an SS? It was an SS, yeah. Collectible. I bet you wish you had it now because it'd be worth many times what you paid. I wish I had it because it was stolen. How much stolen. did you pay for it? <laughs> it was stolen? Yeah, it was stolen. It was stolen while I was at work. Oh. No way. Yeah. yeah, I was in the process of uh, semi-restoring, more hot-rodding it and, and doing it step by step. And I did the interior. That was like the last big thing. And I think the, the thief was watching and he said, okay, it's done. I'll get it now. So and you it waited until you put never the finishing seen, touches it on it. Unbelievable. Jill, I, you're one of the few girls that I know that you're into cars. I'm totally into cars, you know, and I think it started with me when I was young because my dad owns a tire shop and he was kind of a wheeler and dealer, you know, he was uh, buying cars and restoring cars. So I have two in my collection now and my favorite being my 63 Stingray that I just got. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Which was a great choice, by the way. I mean, that is probably the quintessential Corvette. It's very highly regarded these days among collectors. So you made a good buy. Or inside the vault right after this. Turbo. Buick. Turbo. Buick. Turbo. Buick. Don't worry. You'll get used to the sound of it. The six-speed direct-injected 2011 Regal Turbo. New from Buick. On behalf of Jill and Alonzo, thanks for watching Inside the Vault. Check us out at InsideTheVault.tv. I'm Chris Collinsworth. See you next time.